Hello, fellow YouTube viewers. Welcome back to season two of Joel's Cooking Show. For the tenth episode here, we're gonna be making chicken quesadillas with spicy red peppers and red onion and a lot of cheese. So first, what you want to do is cut up the chicken for the quesadilla. You want to make bite-sized pieces, and this is rotisserie chicken, seasoned, already seasoned. Want to bring it over to the frying pan and put it in. Next, you're going to want to cut up some red onions. And you're going to want to add the red onion in about this much with the chicken. And then the final thing you guys want to cut up is a red bell pepper for the extra spicy kick.
you want to dump that in about this much with the chicken in the red onion. Next, you're going to want to add some olive oil in with the chicken and the vegetables, some salt, and some black pepper. First, the olive oil. Kind of just lather it over the vegetables and the chicken. Sprinkle some salt on top. Add black pepper for that spicy kick. And you want to even it out so it looks more like this. You want to kind of fry the veggies on medium heat. And while that's starting to cook, you're going to want to take quesadilla shells. And I have a bag of sharp cheddar shredded cheese. Gonna wanna add a lot of cheese to the quesadillas, guys. You wanna cook the quesadilla shells on a sort of a lower temperature at first. Add some shredded cheese on top. like so. You can take a spoon or a spatula and stir around the veggies. It's already sizzling pan. The olive oil will make the veggies taste better and give the chicken more flavor with the pepper and salt we added. is in the way you want to cook it for more than like five to ten minutes at a time
cheese is already starting to melt a little bit on the quesadilla. Alright guys, now the cheese is finally starting to melt a lot onto the quesadilla shell. Let the vegetables sizzle and cook some more. You'd smell the red onions start to caramelize with the red bell peppers in the chicken. Let that cook for a couple more minutes and then add it on top of the quesadilla. And if you want, you can add extra cheese like I'm about to. Doing the chef flip with the vegetables and the chicken. Then you want to pour the chicken and the vegetables and put extra cheese on top of the already melted cheese on the quesadilla shell so that the vegetables mix in with the cheese. Kind of just spread it lightly over the quesadilla. Oh, there goes the fire alarm again. Sorry about that, YouTube fans. It's really loud. <laughs> so like I said, you're going to want to add even more cheese to the already melted quesadilla so that uh, it melts cheese over top the vegetables and the chicken. And I still have a whole nother bag of shredded cheese.
Next step, you're gonna to wanna to put another quesadilla shell over the already melted cheese and the vegetables and the chicken on the quesadilla. And kind of press it down on top. Next up, you want to flip the quesadilla over, and it should look more like should look more like so. Can't get that. Tastes good. You want to kind of bring it up to a medium heat so that it melts the cheese a little bit faster. Or you can leave it on low. You want to kind of keep smushing it down so the vegetables mix in with the cheese. And after about a couple to a few minutes, the quesadilla should be done, ready to serve, and ready to eat. And there you go, guys. Voila. Joel's spicy quesadilla recipe. Please stay tuned for more cooking show videos from Joel.